Hey there, today I'm gonna to show you how to create a glitter effect in Photoshop using my free glitter actions and brushes that are available to download as part of my free creative toolkit. You'll find it on my website, careplitchnitch.com. There is also a link below this video. So go download that, unzip it, and when you do, you will see that the folder contains glitter styles, glitter brushes, glitter actions, and this very file that I'm demonstrating on so you can practice along. So you'll need to install the styles, the brushes, and the actions. You should be able to do that by just double clicking and Photoshop will take care of it. If for some reason that doesn't work, you can navigate to the respective panels and do it manually. So you could go to Window, Actions, and from the Actions panel menu, you would choose Load Actions. And from the Styles panel, you would go to Window, styles from the panel menu again you would then select import styles and the brushes you would select your brush tool in the toolbar and then come up to the brush tip preview up here and over from the cog wheel on the far right you could click that and choose import brushes so once you get everything installed, you are ready to add glitter. So in this case, I wanna add the glitter to the layer here that says glitter. So these are type layers that I have rasterized so that you could have the same file and practice along at home. So I'm gonna select the glitter layer and then from my styles panel, you'll see that the styles are split into two groups. We have high res styles and we have low res styles. So the only difference really is just the scale at which the glitter pattern is applied. So they're just kind of a shortcut. You can apply a high res style and you can customize it to make it fit a low res image. It doesn't matter. It's just a little easier to at least have like a shortcut this way. So in this example, I'm gonna just click to apply the pink glitter, you'll see that in the layer panel. This layer now has two effects. It has a color overlay and pattern overlay. If you double click color overlay, you can come in here and change the color if you want to. If you want to adjust the pattern, you double click the pattern overlay. And here's where you can see the scale is 100%. So that's what makes this a quote high res style is that the scales applied at 100%. So if you are working in an image where you need a smaller scale, you can just click right here and actually you can see that it scales down. Just know that some percentages here are gonna render better than others. So let's say I drop this down to 50%, you can see the glitter is now tinier than when it was 100%. So you can play with that. And also if you wanna reposition the glitter within your image, you can also just mouse over and you'll see that you've got the move tool when, when you do that. And then you can just click and drag to reposition it around. So that's really handy. Okay, so let's go ahead and click okay. So that's looking pretty good. But if this were real life and we had maybe written out the word glitter, let's pretend we wrote it out with glue, like, like a preschool art project, and then we dumped a bunch of glitter on it, the edges would not be sharp like this. There would be like little blobs of glitter all the way down and around. So we're going to simulate that with the actions that are included. So with that layer still selected, I'm gonna come up to my actions panel and all the way down here, I've got this right here is the actions included with this. And if your actions panel looks different than this, you might just not be in button mode. So if you switch over by going to the actions panel menu, you can turn on and off button mode. And what's great about button mode is you just have to click on it and it runs. And also I've color coded them here to just help keep it easy. So you'll see there's also high res actions and low res actions, and then there's a custom one right here. And we'll do that one in a minute. So for right now, I've got this glitter layer still selected, and I'm just gonna click to add the high res pink outline glitter. When I click that, ta-da, it has now basically stroked the contents of this layer with one of the brushes that are included. So I think that looks pretty great. So it stroked it with this 39 pixel brush. If you ran the low res, 
pink outline, it would stroke it with the 10 pixel brush right here. So if you find yourself needing a uh, dimension that's in between here, you can do that too. That's with this custom outline brush. So these brushes are tied to the stroke outline actions, but this one, you can set the size yourself. So if I double click to select the custom brush, and let's say I'm gonna um, make my cursor smaller so we can come up here and if you click this down arrow, maybe we want, let's see, between 10 and 39, maybe we'll go like 15 or maybe um, 17, I guess, I don't know. Type something in there and then you can also use your left and right bracket keys on the keyboard. Those are the ones next to the letter P so um, you can do it that way too, but I'm just gonna specify a number <laughs> to see what that looks like. And then I'm gonna take this whole layer and just throw it to the trash. So we'll go back. So here's our layer with the words and the styles applied. We've changed to our custom outline brush here and we've set the diameter to let's say 17. And now this time I'm gonna run the custom size, no style action. So when I click on that, it runs the action and it puts these little dots, in this case they're black because that's my currently active foreground color over here. And the dots are run using a 17 pixel brush. There'll still be some size variation because that's how I created the brush, but um, this may be then more in line with what you're looking for. So the custom brush size action applies the glitter, but without the style. So to add the style then, you can just go back to your style panel and then choose whichever was the one that worked best for you, whether that's the low res, you can see it makes the pattern smaller within the little glitter globs, and the high res makes the pattern bigger within the glitter globs. So there's a lot of ways to customize this and have fun with it. If you change your mind and you wanna try a different color, you can just click that different color here, so in the styles panel. So it's really easy to get some great effects and have a lot of fun with this. So finally, the last thing that is kind of fun is to add some scattered glitter just sort of all around the image. So I like to do that on a new blank layer. So I'm gonna click to add a new blank layer and we can just call it like, scattered and for this we'll go back to our brush panel up here and there's a light scatter brush where it's not quite as as spread out or there's the heavy scatter so I'm gonna double click to select the heavy scatter brush and you can change the size to whatever you think looks good and right now I'm just painting with white as my foreground color so you can see what's happening but I'm just painting and dragging all around to just kind of throw glitter kind of randomly around the image. And then when I feel like, you know, that looks good, I just go back to my style panel and then click to apply whatever glitter style I want. So that is how you put some glitter on it. I hope you enjoyed this and all the other freebies that are part of my creative toolkit. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you back here again soon.